Hello navigators, my name is Donna Ulrich and I'm one of the coordinators for the Beginning Algebra course. First off, I'd like to thank you so much for taking on this job. I wanted to walk through our duties to make sure that you understand where everything can be found and what you need to do. First week of class, we do need you to verify email addresses and phone numbers for each student. You can send an email through Blackboard and request this reply and then you can call and double check that number for that student. To send an email in Blackboard underneath Course Tools, you will find Send Email. You'll want to send it to all users. And then you can write it out and just have them send you that information back so we can have some type of record of who is in the class and how to get in touch with them. At the end of the week, we've got to make sure that everybody has logged in to Blackboard and My Labs Plus. And of course, if they haven't, we do need to contact them and make sure that we either walk them through the steps or give them the phone number for tech support so they can. All right, so in Blackboard, oh, I'm sorry. Again, you can go under Grade Center, go under Full Grade Center, and even though there's no students here, it will show you this last access date so you can know exactly when the last time they signed in to Blackboard was. Now, in My Labs Plus, Remember, your username is the same username as Blackboard. And then your password is your six-digit birthday. When you log into My Labs Plus, you're probably not going to have as many things listed, but you should see 2012 Fall Online. And then all the classes that you are navigating for will be listed. Click on one of those courses. And over here on this left hand side, if you'll click on Course Tools, you can go to the Gradebook. And then on the Gradebook, if you'll click on Homework, that will show you again where everybody everybody listed and what they are working on and how they've done it. Now again, nothing's listed here because students have not been added yet. Mondays and Thursdays. We need you to contact by email anybody that did not make a grade of 70 or above on the si on the assignment that was due the night before. So again, to do this, we would simply come back to the grade book. These will be numerical scores that you will see and you can very quickly go through and just see who made what and then email those students. 30 days prior to the proctored test, we do need to remind students to make an appointment at their testing location. I send an announcement with this information but we do need you just to follow it up. We need another email reminder three weeks before. Then we need to call anybody two weeks before that has not replied to you with a location and a date for the test. We do need to send out an email reminder one week prior to proctor test dates and send out another email reminder to all students one week prior to non-proctored test dates. Once the test has been concluded, Anyone that did not take the test does need to be contacted through email and we need to decide whether or not a makeup test is needed or not. Now I'll be happy to work with you on this or your instructor for your specific class um, and we can just decide it and then the instructor will open it back up. We do want to contact each student at midterm and discuss their grades and then we do want to contact students one week before the last day to drop. Um, to discuss their grade and if it's a C or better as possible keep them in there and if not we need to talk to them about dropping. If there's anything that you're asked over and over again please let your instructor know and then they can post it and you won't have to answer that same question over and over. 
Now, going back to My Labs Plus, over here on this left-hand side, the students will not see near as many tabs as you and I do. Everything that has this marked out symbol means the students do not see it. So really all they have is the course home, a tab to click on homework, a tab to click their grade, a temporary access code that they can use for 21 days, and then the chapter contents, which is actually the book online, and then tools for success, some things that we do provide for them to help them. You can click through all of these. You can see the homework is listed. And again, nothing is listed here because it does not start until Monday. The grade book, it's going to say that I'm not a student. Um, but again, once the students get in, you'll be able to see their grades. The temporary access code, it is only good for 21 days of your course. And then they will have to buy another one tools for success. It does give them the solutions manual if anybody else, if anybody wants to work additional problems and test prep videos of somebody working out the problems in the chapter reviews. And then for us, again, the only thing that you're really going to have to worry about is looking at the grade book. And the only thing that we do in My Labs Plus is homework. And again, you'll be able to go through and see what everybody's grades are at all times. Moving through as we get through the semester using your arrows. And again, it will show all of their grades, how much they've done, what they've completed, and what else they have to do. Please, please, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me or anybody else. Um, and if at any time you feel like that you just don't not quite sure, shoot us an email and we'll be happy to get back with you. Looking for, forward to a great semester. Thanks for all your help. Bye-bye.